Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today we're going to be making a champagne pear low top soap and I have developed a little method that I'm really enjoying. The same way that I poured the Love Spell soap, the Victoria's Secret soap that I did um, a week or two ago, I am going to do the same thing with this one except for I'm going to pour two colors. So I'm going to mix up one color with white in here and then I'm going to pour two extra colors with a drop swirl on the inside. The first thing to do is to blend up the lye water and the oil so I'm going to do that real quick. Now that the soap is blended up, I'm going to split it off and I'm going to put it into these containers here. These are from the dollar store. I'm going to pour about equal amounts into here, probably this much or so. Oh, I'm dripping everywhere. What a disgrace. I'm also going to pour a little bit off into the container that held the lye water, maybe this much or so, just enough to cover the top of the soap completely with white because we're going to do a really really pretty mica swirl on top. In this container right here I have green vibrance from Nurture. In this container I have spring green from Nurture and in this container I have Maya gold from Nurture. Into the big container and this little container here in the back I'm going to be adding some titanium dioxide and to all of the containers I will be adding some champagne pear fragrance oil. This is from Nature's Garden. It is an excellent soap making fragrance fragrance oil. It smells divine. It kind of slows down trace a little bit so you have time for really really pretty swirls and it sticks great. So I can highly recommend this scent. I'm going to move the top white color off to the side because we're going to blend that up after the rest of the stuff has been poured in. Then I'm going to put my titanium dioxide mixed with water straight into the bucket like this and now I'll blend them all up on low. You can see my soap batter is really liquidy, so that's perfect. Now I'm going to take the soap container containing the green vibrance mica and I'm going to pour that directly into the white. No stirring. Remember, no stirring. It'll stir up your stuff too much and then you won't have any difference really. So I'm just going to pour that all in. I'm going to scrapey, scrapey out this container and then we're going to start pouring into the molds. We'll start with the white and green bucket. Just pour into here. Oh, that looks so amazing. That's about a third of the way full. So now I'm gonna take the gold and I'm gonna put this in up and down and up and down. Now the spring green and I'm gonna pour that up from pretty high. I did three passes with the spring green. So I came down, I went back up, and then I also came straight down the middle. Pour in a little more of this white and green blend. Pretty close. I don't want that to break stuff up all the way down to the bottom of the soap. So again, down and up. Pretty close. That one has more in it, so I'm gonna fill this one up a little bit more. <laughs> Let's go again with the gold. Pouring from up pretty high. Again with the gold and back. I'm going to swirl the green just like this and down again. Now I'm just going to get the rest of this into here. All that's left for this part is to scrape out the containers. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a little bit of gold left. Come on gold. Yes. All right, so I'm going to scrape all of these out and then we'll come back and we'll put on the bit of white on the top so that we can add the pretty design. I put the white topping on so now it's time to do the really pretty kind of mica swirl. So I have mixed up all the colors that I have on the inside of the soap with a little bit of sweet almond oil and I'm going to drizzle it all over the middle. I'm going to try to not get too close to the edge because I personally just kind of like the look of the swirl a little bit more if I keep it kind of central to the soap. Put a few more little drops in here. 
Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the gold, just kind of keep it in the middle. You can put as much or as little as you like, but I like to put quite a bit. And now the spring green. Now you can swirl this however you want. The way that I'm going to swirl it is like a technique that I think a lot of people use because it looks really pretty, but you could leave it like this if you wanted to. So this is how I'm swirling it. It's like a figure eight all the way down the soap. And I have cut off the end of a pipette to make it look like that in the middle. If you have a thinner swirling utensil, you can make an even thinner design. So I'm gonna do that over here, just like this, all the way down. I might have made my mica and oil drizzle a little too runny because they're all kind of mushing together just a little bit. But if you make them all a little thicker, they won't run together so bad. You can see the difference in the swirl a little better from this perspective. This is the one that had the smaller swirling tool, and this one had the bigger swirling tool. So you can see that this one's just a little more swirled up, and that one is just a little more precise. I'm going to let these sit for about 24 hours. I don't want to go less with this, because with soaps that use fragrance oils that slow down trace, they typically are sticky for a little while longer. So I'm going to let this one sit for a little bit more than 18 18 hours and then we'll come back and we'll cut them all up. I am back the next day to cut this champagne pear soap. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Ooh, okay, so now I'm going to cut it. I have to line it up perfectly first. Ooh, that looks great. Wow, first time. <coughs> Let's pull one out of the middle. Ooh, it's kind of sticky still. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes, look at this one. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. Okay, so this totally reminds me of the Monet painting with the bridge in the background and the weeping willow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Maybe I should name this after like the Monet painting. Caleb, look it up. What is the name of that painting? Water lilies and Japanese bridge. Ooh. That's rather a mouthful. <laughs> Maybe we should just call it Mr. Monet. How about that? Or we could just stick with Champagne Pear. I don't know. Hey, I have an idea. Let's make that the question of the day. Do you think I should call this soap Mr. Monet? Or just stick with the name of the fragrance oil and call it Champagne Pear? If you would like to vote, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen and we'll see. And depending on what you guys say is what I will name the soap. I also just wanted to remind you that we're getting really close to the end of my big 100,000 subscriber giveaway. It ends on February 5th. First, you can win a year's worth of soap, which is also the same day of our very first soapy release for this year. It is at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time at RoyaltySoaps.com, and these soaps will be available then. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I know it was kind of a short one, but this soap wasn't, wasn't too complicated. I hope, for those who make soap, it has inspired you to try this mica swirly top. They're really pretty, super simple to do. And I will see you guys next week for another royalty soaps video. So until then, bye for now.